Hi guys, it is another exciting, exciting night here in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, where in the end times, where I have passed another day without laying eyes on another human being on planet Earth. So to escape the uh, the potential trap of being sucked down the Netflix rabbit hole that I was sucked down last week, I decided that I was going to go on to topdocumentaryfilms.com for some intelligent documentary programming about the state of the planet. So I call up... <laughs> Top documentary films, and what do you think the newest uh, documentary to be to be put on would be the, uh, the 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 most recent one is YouTube YouTubers and you. There you go. Uh, YouTube YouTubers and you which is about a 45-minute documentary, apparently about all of the clueless fucking morons out there uh, making YouTubes. And I would, I would play a few clips of this from you, but I'm quite sure that the little bots at Google would give me a copyright uh, infringement. So you will just have to, uh, if you want to go out and really learn about the little bots that operate YouTube, here is your chance. There you go. The online video platform YouTube has captured the attention of billions all over the, uh, the world, blah, blah, blah. But uh, getting down uh, to the last paragraph, what this is really all about, what this is talking about, is what everybody on YouTube apparently is interested in. And that is how to get rich and famous. I don't know, is, is the goal on YouTube to get famous and then rich or rich and famous. That apparently is the goal of YouTube. And in order to do that, you're going to have to swim with the sharks. YouTube, YouTubers, and you shows us the business side of the website, a world inhabited by algorithm specialists brand marketers, and talent managers without exception if a company wishes to engage the eyeballs of an international audience, they have to play in the YouTube sandbox. The film also invests in the personal struggles and triumphs of the site's content makers. Uh... The forum is completely democratic and invites participation from all ages and ethnicities. These creators are encouraged to share their personal lives and insights with the world. They are the product. It is the YouTubers. The people doing this are the product that is being sold by all of these uh, these marketers. And needless to say, guys, what do you think is, is going to make you rich and famous? Uh, here in this 45-minute video, I think the oldest YouTuber they interviewed might have been 30. They were actually interviewed a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old uh, getting rich and famous on, on YouTube. Uh, you know, we the main guy they talked to is this gamer, 
this gamer. He has seven million subscribers, two and a half billion views. He goes on YouTube every day and films himself playing video games. Uh, this girl here, can't remember her name. Uh, you know, obviously, guys, clearly, nowhere in the 45 minutes are you going to find any mention, any mention uh, of anything that has anything to do with the collapse of the planet. If you want to get rich and famous on YouTube, you need to be a young, beautiful person. And uh, what it also said is, uh, you know, they, they, they talk about in getting, in getting rich that it is not so much the ads at the beginning of the videos that those things actually, uh, every time you suffer through one of those goddamn ads, whenever you go on a YouTube site, unlike mine, that makes you sit through one of those goddamn fucking ads, do you know what the, the, the actual YouTuber makes? He makes a, a fraction of a penny. So uh, all of you freeloaders on this site who don't want to throw a buck uh, to me uh, for what I do, just remember that every time you sit there and, and suffer through one of those goddamn ads that the guy actually putting on the video is making less than one penny. So what they were saying, their advice to creators is A, you need to get yourself a manager and you need to be hawking products that you need to be putting products in your, in your videos. I spent a, a 30 minutes today um, promoting the products of the Talkie, to the Talkie Toys Corporation. I'm waiting for my check from the Talkie Toys Corporation. So anybody out there who has a product they want me to hawk on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I am offering my services. If, if, if you have, uh, you know, if you have a fuck my life button that you want me to advertise, uh, we can work out a deal. Anybody who wants to manage Hambone Little Tail, uh, drop me a line. I'm willing to talk because obviously I want to be as rich and famous as the rest of the guys. And one thing that that I that really did catch my attention in this completely predictable uh, descent on on how YouTube is is just the latest reflection of the absolute clueless fucking morons on this planet. One thing that did. Uh, interests me was this th there's been a switch about a I think they said about a year ago in YouTube where it used to be that long videos by longer videos they're talking at least 20 minutes and preferably over 30 minutes that they used to be discouraged because of all of these ADD people who cannot listen to a video for more than three or four minutes. I've gotten uh, some new fucking troll that I'm having some fun with. What is this fucking uh, ADD troll's name? Uh, Aubrey Dana. Aubrey Dana, uh, who has been whining uh, about how long my videos are. Uh, and, and other people, I've, I've heard this, and I've had this rant before, and I've done some testing about it, uh, about how people 
do not watch long videos well. In fact, the research is coming out that it is the long videos that more and more people want. That the short videos are uh, not being watched. This is what the new, what the algorithm, what the bots in YouTube are finding is that more and more people, unbelievably, and I'm shocked by this. Uh, I thought that most people on the planet were these clueless fucking ADD people like Aubrey, but uh, apparently not. And uh, so they're saying if you want to be rich and famous, you need to make you need to a make longer videos and you need to make more videos. The more videos you pump out every single day, the longer the video, the better chance you have of being rich and famous. So I'm on my way to being rich and famous, obviously. I simply need to hawk some products and find me a manager and uh, learn how to play video games and of course tits and ass now you can't have actual porno on video but but as as, as you can as much as you can take it to the line as as much as you can push the envelope on your videos the more tits and ass that you can have on your videos the, the better your chance of being rich and famous, obviously. So anyway, we're going to uh, we're we're going to try to work on that. I'm I'm sure you want a picture. Of that. Here's Hambone's tits. All right, Hambone's tits. Maybe we can have some some doggy porn. All right, we got Sancho's ass. We got Hambo's, Hambone's tits and Sancho's ass. Yes, you little porno dog. So anyway, I'm on my way to being rich and famous, and I do appreciate all of you helping me out. So uh, I'm not even going to put the link, but if you want to find out how you too can be rich and famous uh, by showing your own tits and ass, on YouTube, YouTube, YouTubers, and you. I'm sure you will find it on YouTube. And now I'm going to move ahead to my next documentary, The Age of Mankind, about the Anthropocene. I might have a review of that later. Bye, guys.